Good morning, everybody. Queen of the Sun here. Today I'll be making worm tea. Last time we spoke, I harvested worm castings, and today I'm going to show you what you can do with those worm castings to make a delicious tea that your plants will absolutely love. So I start out with a five gallon bucket and fill it with dechlorinated water. Now this is just well water. Um, it's probably more like four gallons because I can't fill it up to five gallons and carry it all the way over here without making a mess. So go ahead and I've got my five gallon bucket. I've got my tea bag um, over the top of that. I've got the worm castings that I harvested last time you saw me do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure out six cups of worm castings into this tea bag. So, mm, nothing like worm castings. Five to 11 times greater NPK value coming out than going in. There's three, four, five, six. So, this tea is going to have a, a ton of nutrients for our plants, but also going to have enzymes and the enzymes come from the malted grains. So what, I, what you see here is malted rye. Now malted means that the rye has been germinated. So germinated, I went ahead and I bought about five pounds of cereal grain rye and I filled it up a five gallon bucket with water, dumped the seeds in there, let it soak for two hours, drained it out, let it dry out for eight hours, let it soak again for two hours in water, did that one more time for a total of three times, and by the end of that process, I had five pounds of germinated rye seed. And what happens is rye is filled with enzymes. Um, you're probably more familiar with this in the beer making process. You need uh, enzymes are present. Amylase is one of them, and the uh, enzymes are amazing. They're the catalyst. They're how plants take up the nutrients. It's basically you're just helping those plants access more of what they love. So I went ahead and made these malted grains. Um, I just ground them up prior to um, filming this. You want to Grind them as soon as you're going to use them. Don't grind them up prior to. So went ahead, did that. This is about five ounces, probably more like six ounces, but you know, um, my who's counting here? So went ahead and dumped that in. Got malted grains, worm poo in the dechlorinated water. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in Yucca, dump that right in there, quarter cup of yucca, and fulvic acid, and do eight ounces, which is one cup, there we go, fulvic acid, and I'm going to go ahead and add some kelp because I love kelp. Kelp has all of the micronutrients available to a plant and I know I didn't put it on there but I pretty much add kelp to everything I do. I just absolutely love kelp. So go ahead and do, there we go, perfect. Eight ounces of kelp. All right. Now I've got my air pump set up over here. I'm going to slide these air stones into the bucket. There we go. Tuck that up. All right, get to bubbling. So, went ahead and we made a worm enzyme tea. Um, six cups of worm poo. I did not put the molasses in. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I almost forgot that. Now, 
Molasses is a simple sugar, and this will feed the bacteria that are present, the good bacteria that are present in this tea. Now, there are also fungus, there's also fungus that is alive in worm poo, and the malted grains not only provide enzymes for the tea, but they provide a complex carbohydrate which fungus feeds on. So we'll see uh, bacterial and fungal growth from the food that we're putting into this tea. So basically, it's gonna be packed full of macro and micronutrients, as well as beneficial bacteria and fungus. And not only does this feed the plant, but it feeds the soil. And I really like to think of gardening as feeding our soil and all of our microorganisms that are present in it. You know, there's more bacteria, fungus, protozoa, nematodes alive in our soil um, than there is animals above the soil. I think it's like there's over a billion living organisms in one teaspoon of soil. So that's really saying something, you know, we really should be taking care of our um, soil food web instead of just thinking about what we can see because everyone is connected and that includes what walks beneath our feet. Does that make sense? No. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this worm tea presentation. Tomorrow I will water in my plants with this tea and I will be feeding the soil. Thank you.